We all know three different ways to style your React component using simple CSS, using SAS file, and using CSS module. Now, let's take a look at how to style your React component using style library. Using this third technique, we are going to add a style library in the React application and style the React component. Style component library allows you to write the actual CSS code to style your component with the help of JavaScript. Using this way, we will not need any CSS because all the CSS is defined in JavaScript. Before we start using style component, we need to first install it. So let's open a new terminal and first enter into your project directory. And here I'm going to say npm i for install and then I'm going to say styled components. You can notice the name of this package is styled and then we have components. Let me just install this module in this React application. So I'm going to just press enter. When I press enter, this will just install this module in my node modules folder. So once you install this library in your React application, let me just clear the screen, close this terminal. So let's create a new file inside this styled folder. So I'm going to create a new file here and name this file styled components.js. And inside this file, I'm going to create a simple functional component. So I'm going to say react functional component. This will create a simple component inside this file. Let me import this component in my index. So let me just import it like this, save this file. And now let's suppose you want to create a simple and reusable button component that you want to use throughout your application. There should be a primary and the secondary version of the button. So let me just create a simple button here inside this division tag. So I'm going to create a button here, button. I'm going to specify text to it. I'm going to say styled component and then I'm going to save this file. Now, let me just import my style component library inside this component so I can use it. So at the top here, I'm going to say import styled from in the single code. I'm going to simply say styled component. As you know, we already installed this library in this application. Just for that, I'm going to use this object to style this button. So what I'm going to do is just down here, I'm going to create a constant variable and name it button. That's upon you. You can specify any name to this variable. Just for that, I'm going to specify here equal to sign and then I'm going to specify style to it. So I'm going to simply say here style dot button and then I'm going to use here backtick just like this and inside this backtick, I'm going to specify styling to this button. So I'm going to copy some styling and paste it here. As you can notice, I'm going to specify background transparent, border radius 3 pixel. Then I'm going to specify some border to this button. Then specify some color, some margin and some padding. I'm going to just specify all the styling inside this backtick operator. Now this button here is now a React component that you can use like any React component. This unusual backtick syntax is a new JavaScript feature called tag template litter. I hope you know that. So this is my primary styling of the button. Now let me save this file and try to execute it. When I execute my program, you can notice I'm going to have a warning. The tag style component is unrecognized in this browser. If you mean to render react component, start its name with an uppercase letter. So keep in mind, whenever you create a new component in react, make sure you specify the capital letter for the first character. So instead of this small s, here I'm going to specify capital S like this. Save this file. Make sure you specify this capital S here as well. Like this. Save this file. And when you reload your browser, you can see you will have your component here. Now, just for that, let me apply my styling to this component. You can notice I have here a button. So how can I apply this styling to this button? What you need to do is instead of creating a simple HTML button, you can notice here I just created a constant variable button. Let me just copy it and specify that here. So I'm going to just create my custom button here and apply this style to it. And as you can see, I'm going to have my styling to this component. So you can notice here, you can create your own component with your own styling. This style object is going to get this button and specify style to it. And then this object is going to specify that styling to this variable. So we can directly use this button as a component in React. Now I want to create a secondary button. Let me first tell you the difference between primary and the secondary button. We need all this CSS styling to the secondary button as well, but with a difference in background and the color property. Many beginners copy the styling of the primary button and paste it in the secondary. But this is not the way to do this. You are repeating yourself. Always follow the dry principle. Don't repeat yourself. So let's create a secondary button with the use of this styling, using this styling. So inside this backtick operator, 
right down here I'm gonna create a simple function so as you know inside this backtick operator I can use JavaScript with dollar and curly braces syntax so I'm gonna say here dollar and inside this curly braces I can access the variable name as well as create my functions so here I'm gonna simply say props and specify arrow to it so this is my parameter and this is my function inside this function I'm gonna simply say props dot primary and CSS now what is this CSS means I will explain the meaning of this CSS after a few minutes so just for now just leave this as it is and just out of this CSS I'm gonna specify backtick operator again like this and inside it and inside it I'm gonna specify my styling so I'm gonna copy some styling and paste it here just like this so I'm using my styling inside this backtick operator now at the end you need to import this CSS inside this import statement you need to specify comma here and in the curly braces you need to say here CSS like this so here we are saying that when the primary property is set we want to add some more CSS to our component in this case we are going to change the background and the color property so we are going to specify some new CSS to this button when we have this primary property to it that's easy to understand so what I'm going to do is to this primary button I'm going to specify a property called primary back to my component and as you can see I'm going to have my primary style to it but as you know this is the secondary button so let me just change this property and here I'm going to say secondary so I'm going to just create a new property to this button and specify that right here like this and as you can see I'm going to have my secondary style to this button if I copy this button paste it here and if I remove this secondary I'm going to have two buttons with a different style I have my primary and the secondary button so with just a few line of code I can change my styling with this library so using this technique that is super easy to style your component there are many new things you can do with this library if you want to know more about this library just head on to stylecomponents.com from this website you will know more about this styling just click on the documentation you will understand how to style your component with different ways next we are going to understand how to style the component with utility first CSS